Hey guys, what is up? It is Dominic and in this video, we're going to be going way more in depth on how to actually get clients. I think my last videos have been great about prospecting, but how do you actually close the deal? How do you prospect correctly? I know a lot of people in the group have been having troubles with this. They've been having troubles with maybe cold calling, which I don't think you should ever do, or in the Facebook groups. Some people have been doing great in the Facebook groups. They'll go find a really nice Facebook group. They'll post like, hey, who needs help with marketing? Who needs automatic texting? Who needs a better website? And then they get just leads coming left and right and they close a few of them and they're doing great. But then of course, there's other people that are having problems with this. They don't know what to say, how to position it. They're a little confused, so I would love to break that down. I would love to say why I don't use a script and you're gonna find out why in this video. Uh, every single sale is different and uh, we're gonna break that down right here, right now. But before I move on, I wanna tell you guys that if you stick around to the end of this video, of course, you already know you're gonna get a 30-day extended trial with Go High Level, access to my free course, yes, completely free, where it takes you step-by-step -step how to set up absolutely everything. You can have it done in the first 24 hours and be prospecting for clients, just like this video says, literally in a single day. Not to mention, if you become my affiliate, you will also get another course with a completely white-labeled onboarding video that all you have to do is send those videos to your clients and they learn everything about the software. It's gonna make them stick way longer. You're gonna build that monthly recurring up and have an amazing churn rate. But for now, let's get into it. How do you prospect correctly for SaaS clients? So of course, you guys already know how I prospect, how I find my prospects. And that's the most important aspect of this, but this is not what we're talking about here. We're not gonna be talking about where to find them, which is gonna be you know, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It's gonna be how to find them. And most importantly, how to close them and how to approach them. So the first rule, and I think this is the biggest one of all time. It's the biggest turnoff in general. It is don't be a salesman. Everybody comes in with the same pitch. They, everyone always asks me like, what's your pitch? What's your script? That is like, oh, it drives me crazy. I don't have a script. There's no script for this. I have the greatest software on the planet. I do not need a script. I go in and not to mention, I don't need a script, but as soon as you have a script, it means you're treating every single client the exact same. You should never ever do that. Every client is different. They're all in different industries, unless you're targeting a niche, which I also do not recommend doing. Obviously, if you're in my course, you already know this, but this whole script thing of this copy and pasting, it just, I mean, it works in mass quantities and huge numbers. You know, you send out a thousand of those, you're gonna get some bites and then hopefully a phone call where you can treat them like an actual person. But it's just like, my success rate is so much higher when I treat them like an actual person immediately and I don't have to send out a thousand messages and just try to get two or three. So when I say don't be a salesman, I mean, like truly do not be a salesman. You're going in there and you're offering them something that they 100% need. If you're prospecting correctly and you're asking all these questions that we're gonna bring up in the next numbers here, then you would understand that you don't need to sell them anything. You're just showing them, you're pushing them in the right direction of a software that's gonna really help them. And then of course they're gonna be like, I need this. How do I get this? How do I, how do you set me up on this? You know, I want this. It's not a sale. You're just helping a customer out. You're helping a client out. So when you start going into it, like, Hey, you really need this on your Facebook ads. You really need this, this we we've been doing numbers like crazy. You know, you need automation. You need text messages. It's like, that's a huge turnoff for them, especially when you bring up numbers. That's another thing I absolutely hate. Salesmen do it all the time. They bring up so many numbers where they're just like, Hey, we can promise you 500 leads this month. I'm like, that's the biggest red flag in my opinion when marketers or when salesmen promise leads because it's like, you don't know what the market's gonna do. You have no idea. It gives me the same vibes as when a financial advisor promises a certain return on investment. It's like, whoa, red flag there. Like, yeah, you can promise me what the average has been doing. That's great. You can throw averages out all day long and I can give out averages all day long. 97% of people actually look at their text messages, which is why you should probably start texting your customers. You know, give another percent on follow-up. These are numbers that you can give, but when you go out making promises, you don't know if you can deliver. That's a huge red flag. It's a very sales mini thing to do. Do not do it. That's number one. Number two is ask a lot of questions. So what I mean by this, if you're doing a client pitch, you're lucky enough to meet with someone, you're in front of them face to face, or you're on the phone with them, or even if you're texting them back and forth and you're just telling them about the software, another red flag, you need to ask them questions so you can solve their problems. So like, first off, the first question I always ask, the number one question I always ask is, are you getting leads from your website? That's the first thing I always ask. And they mostly go, eh, I don't know. I don't know how to track that. There you go, that's a green flag right there. You can easily help them with that. Be like, well, we can not only track that, we can make sure that your website's actually working, that it looks good. We actually add functions to it with automatic texting, which brings me to my second question I always ask. Do you text your customers? 
most of them will probably say, no, I don't know. We don't have a texting thing. Like, I don't know. We don't have, we have, we have a landline. We can call. It's like, no, that's not good enough. You need to be able to text. And then you can start putting numbers on them. Well, you know, 97% of people actually read their text messages. You know, email marketing is, you know, slowly turning into text message marketing and it's becoming more and more popular every single year. And then the last question I ask is, what are you doing for your marketing? That's always asked, what are you doing for your marketing so that they can tell you what they're doing? Make them ask questions that they can't answer too. You know, put them in a corner and just say, okay, well, how are your numbers doing? You know, what's your actual conversion rate on your marketing? They're not gonna know. Most of them are gonna have no idea uh, what their profit margins are on their Facebook ads because most of them either aren't running Facebook ads or they're doing boosted posts. And it is very difficult to know anything about your numbers when you're running boosted posts. Huge red flag uh, for them, but a green flag for you because you can go in there and be like, hey, you should not be wasting money on boosted posts. This is how you should do it. You should run an actual campaign connected to our system with automation so that those people can get followed up with immediately. You can call them, you can close their deals so fast. And number three goes hand in hand with number two, providing a ton of value. This works really well by just answering people's questions or making content. Both of those work really well. So let's say I'm in a Facebook group and I see 15 questions about Facebook ads. Well, the best way to do that, instead of going in and saying, hey, I have an amazing software, go in and just say, have you tried text message automation? And if they go, yeah, be like, okay, what system are you working with right now? They'll give you answers, you're going back and forth, and finally, they're gonna start messaging you because you're providing value to them. I've done this many, many times where I've actually made friends, 10, 20, 30 friends, by just helping them out, saying, hey, you probably shouldn't run boosted posts, there's like a better way for this. When you go in just pitching all the time, you become that one thing that businesses hate and I'll be honest, I hate it too. I get like five to 10 phone calls a day and I had to stop answering them, but I still answer them every once in a while and every single time it's the same thing. I do it as entertainment now. I'm just like, all right, let me hear your pitch. And they'll be like, we can help your marketing and your sales. I'm like, I am a marketing company. And then boom, I hang up. Like, I don't wanna hear your pitch. There's so many of them. I hate pitches in general. Businesses hate them. They're sick of them. They wanna know that you're actually going to help them. If you're gonna sit on there and just ask for their money all day, it's just not gonna work. So this is the best way to actually provide value, become friends with these people, and then go, hey, you know, this is the software I use. I'm actually a promoter of it as well. And it just works really, really well. I think you guys should check it out. I'll give you a free demo here. You can try it out for a week maybe. You can do so many different options if they're very skeptical about it. There's so many ways where you don't have to be so greedy. You can try on you know, 5, 10, 15 different clients and start messing around with those guys. And then when they see the results and see how powerful this thing is, see how amazing it is with that text message automation connected to marketing, whether it's just that, or if it's just a website, make them a quick little landing page and say, hey, you can have this landing page, you can have this website, we can connect to the automation, you can download the mobile app, this is what you're gonna do for all of your kind of physical leads that you see face to face. And then of course, we can help you with your Google numbers as well and connect all your social medias to this. And that's when you go to the next level. But for right now, we can do that for $97 a month. I mean, you're not gonna find a better deal. And then be like, and if you wanna scale and you wanna get up to the marketing numbers, we can do 300, 500, $1,000 a month. And we can really build a business partnership here. So that's what providing value does. Another way to provide value, of course, is content. I didn't break this down too much, but if you're gonna go on TikTok, go watch my TikTok. Go watch the things that I do, and you'll see that I get leads every single day. I think I got 35 leads yesterday organically, no ads, because I'm providing value. I'm showing people exactly how to do it, then I lead them to a course that also shows them how to do that. And of course, if you have my course, then you get a free course inside of the course. Yes, I said course like 40 times. But all that means is that you now have the power to provide value to these people. And you have that anyway because you have access to Go High Level, which means you have the power to get them on to Go High Level for literally free to test it out if you wanted to go that route. I do suggest making them pay, you know, 97, 297, whatever upfront if you're gonna do work for them. You don't wanna do too much work for free. But obviously providing value is, is something that you should do for free. So go check out my TikToks, go check out my posts in the Facebook group, go join our Facebook group and see how easy it is just to provide value, just to show how you know automation works, to show how to actually run ads. I have videos on all of this. You guys don't need to learn any of this. It's already done. You can just copy what I do. And then number four, we've got show them the software. So I kind of already broke into this a little bit, but yes, making sure they understand the software and they see it 
face to face. I have the demo video for this, but making like a 30 second, you know, like kind of what I did on TikTok, making like a 30 second to a minute long, really fast paced video that shows how automation works, that shows how integration works, that shows how easy it is to build a website, that shows all of these different things. You're now providing that value. You're not being a salesman and you're asking questions through that system being like, hey, do you have this? Do you have automation? You just did all of those things in like 30 seconds. And anyone that can give you 30 seconds of their time is gonna watch that and go, oh wow, I really need this. Whether that's just a simple automation video or if it's one of those, hey, look how easy it is to build websites now with our system. And our websites work great because we connect them to the automation and then show them the scannable codes and you can get scannable codes, put them on your business cards, put them on flyers, put them on physical marketing and you can be the most high tech business in your industry in your town, literally within 48 hours. So yes, showing them the software is massive. You've got to get them to sit down for a second and go, hey, just, just watch this. Just watch this six minute video. Just watch this minute long video. You'll understand very quickly that you need something like this. And not only that, we'll set it up for you. That's the biggest leverage point of all that you guys need to start leveraging immediately is, hey, doesn't this look great? Doesn't this software look great? They get turned off by software, the term software, because they're like, oh my goodness, now I have to learn a software program? No, you don't. We're gonna set it up for you. You just need to know how to use it when we set it up, which is super easy. It's basically just texting customers back and sending out review requests and maybe like messing with the website just a little bit, updating photos. But ultimately, you're gonna be doing a lot of that stuff for them anyway. And my white label onboarding videos teach them this so you don't even have to worry about it. And then number five is allow them to experience it, which yes, goes hand in hand with number four, but it's more in depth. It's more going, hey, you want a little demo run? We can make you an account real quick. Or what I do and what I teach in the course is make them a quick landing page. It takes like 20 minutes, put their logo and a couple photos on a template, send it to them and say, hey, fill this out real quick and watch what happens. Make sure that their phone number is in the automation and it's gonna send them a text super quick right when they fill out the form. They're gonna see how awesome that is. And that's why I get a lot of my sales is because they see it. They see it in person. Instead of them going, oh yeah, you're gonna get me a lot of leads and it's gonna work, it's great, yay. Now they're like, oh no, this actually works. I'm seeing it live. Um, I would totally choose this business if they got back to me that quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much how I prospect. I don't really do anything other than that. And it seems to work really well. Start making content, start reaching out. I don't even use Instagram or Pinterest yet. So I, those are like unexplored territories in the SaaS world. So hopping on those two and TikTok and Facebook, and you're telling me you don't think you can post, you know, once or twice a week and just take that post from TikTok, put it on YouTube shorts, put it on Facebook, put it on maybe Pinterest or whatever, Instagram, all of these different platforms, you don't think you're gonna get leads from that by showing that much value, you're crazy. You're definitely gonna get leads and you can easily close those leads because you're selling a product that works really well and that so many businesses don't know about and need to know about because it'll help them a ton. So that's enough out of me. Hopefully that helps you guys a lot when you're prospecting. Don't be doing this copy and paste stuff. It doesn't work that well. I really hope you can get value out of this. And I also might be working on some white labeled videos, some short frame, you know, 25, 45 second videos that you can actually take and show all of your prospects. Start posting those videos in the groups and seeing how they work for you because they're clearly working for me, so why wouldn't they work for you guys? Because I'm fully aware that not all of you guys are content creators. It may be pretty difficult for you to you know, you open the laptop, turn on the camera, the lights, and start talking. I totally, totally get that. I was not very good when I started. I would have to start over, over and over and over again, and I wasn't confident, I couldn't figure it out, so I totally get it. So that's why I wanna make videos that you guys can white label. That's why I put so much time and effort into those white labeling courses so that you guys can skip that phase. But I do believe it's something that you will take with you for the rest of your life if you can get in front of a camera, even behind a camera. You don't have to show your face, just your voice and talk about this product. I think it will change everything for you so fast. But like I said, I'm gonna make videos for you guys and I've already made videos for you guys so you can skip that phase for now. And if you wanna learn how to get those videos and how to set up everything for Go High Level, you know what to do. Click the link in the description below. You will get a full 30 day extended free trial using my link. Not only that, but you're gonna get my free course to set everything up because that setup phase can be tough. It took me like a month to set everything up because I didn't have a course or didn't have anything to show me what to do. So now you have a full course. You can get it set up in a day. Have your website up, your Google My Business running, have business cards made up. I mean, you can literally do so much. Just watch those videos. You'll see exactly what to do, how to set everything up. And then you can start prospecting correctly. 
And then also, if you become my affiliate, you get my second course. So it's really good if you become my affiliate, if you actually use my link, because you're gonna get that second course. It's gonna give you a course inside of a course that you can actually own yourself. You become the owner of the white label course. You can edit it, do whatever you want to it, put your voice in it, hire someone from Fiverr or Upwork to put like an accent on it. Maybe if you're from a different country and you don't wanna use my voice, you can tell people that I'm your tech guy. I have no problems. If I gotta hop on a phone call with somebody, I'm totally cool with it. That's what I do all day anyway. So there's so many different ways to swing it and everyone has been loving it. I have loved the feedback from you guys. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. You guys have all changed my life. The fact that I can make content for a living now still blows my mind. You know, because eight short months ago, I was exactly where most of you were and I was just finding Go High Level, and I knew it was the best business model ever. I knew it was the greatest software ever, but I still had so many ups and downs. It was not perfect all the way through. Absolutely not. I had some very, very low moments thinking, oh my God, I don't know if I can fulfill these clients. I don't know if I can get more clients. I don't know if I can scale. You know, what am I doing? I'm in over my head. I don't understand this software completely, and I'm out here selling it. And then here I am eight months later, and I'm teaching over 500 people how to do this absolutely insane. There's no reason you guys can't do the same things that I did. So click that link in the description. You'll find everything you need. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the Facebook group and message you and call you one-on-one -on -one if that's what you'd like to do. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.